Hi, my name is Gary. I volunteer with several different animal rescue organizations and wanted to talk about Tim and all the help he's given to me with, in particular, two dogs. Um, the first dog was Chase. I was driving on the streets of Tustin and saw this scraggly stray dog uh, just running alongside of the street. Uh, right when I was pulling over, he ran across the street and was hit by a truck, um, but was still okay enough to run away from me. Uh, long story short, they ended up catching him and he ended up um, injured, but okay, uh, at the Orange County shelter. Of course, I became attached to him and followed up on him and found out that I called the shelter just to make sure he was going to be adopted and not put down. Uh, they told me that he had basically tried to attack nearly everybody that went near him that worked there and that he was not adoptable at all. He was extremely aggressive and that he was going to be put down uh, after three days. So with the help of a rescue group that I work with, um, I was able to get him out. Um, and it turns out he was very aggressive. Uh, he had major, major aggression in the home, and then he also had major separation anxiety uh, when he was left at home. I had tried several different trainers to work with him, um, and nobody was able to help him. They either weren't able to help him or not willing to help him um, because of his extreme case. Uh, one of the rescue groups I work with referred me to Tim. I gave him a call. Um, Tim, one of the amazing things about him, number one, he never says no. He's willing to help any dog anytime, regardless of their issues. So he showed up at my home, which was great because that's where all the trouble was happening. Um, he put on a bite suit when he needed to. He did worked on every level with Chase. Um, and ended up um, making him adoptable and then even finding him a home with a, another trainer he works with. So thanks to Tim and all his dedication and work, uh, Chase is still happy, um, living a great life down in San Diego. And um, his mom who adopted him uh, sends me pictures from time to time about Chase. Um, and there are pictures of him running uh, off leash in dog parks and dog beaches um, with no problem at all. He still has some issues, but they're managed very well and he's alive thanks to Tim. The second dog uh, I also saw as a stray who was living on the side of a freeway. Um, this one was a pit bull mix. Um, Again, I took him, I was able to catch him, took him to a shelter. They said same thing. He was extremely aggressive, not adoptable, and they were going to put him down at three days. So um, I called several trainers uh, in a panic because I only had until the next morning to see if I could save him. The only one that was willing to help me again was Tim. Um, Tim and uh, another trainer, Dean. Uh, met me at the shelter. Um, Tim talked with the shelter about his expertise and his experiences working with aggressive dogs. Um, at first the shelter was not willing to even let us see the dog, let alone enter the kennel to see if we were able to work with him and get him out of there before they put him down. Um, finally we were able to, oh, the reason being that this is a shelter that has um, about 90% pit bulls, so they know pit bulls well, and they were unable, they said, to even enter this dog's cage. Um, the dog's name uh, is JB. So they just left JB in the cage for the three days, um, and nobody was able to even go in to give him a chance to see what his temperament really was out of the cage. So Tim was able to uh, Tim and I were able to talk them into letting him at least go in the cage 
to get him out of the cage and see what we really had. Uh, so there goes Tim in his bite suit. Um, the whole shelter staff was looking on in really sheer disbelief um, that he was willing to even go in there. Um, but he opened the cage, um, he walked right in. I think because JB um, could sense that, that Tim wasn't afraid. Um, I don't know what, and Tim was able to walk in the kennel, uh, sit down next to JB, um, gave him treats, or her actually, gave her treats, uh, started petting her put a leash on her and proceeded to walk her out of the kennel uh, straight into the backseat of his car. The shelter staff, including the director, couldn't believe what they were seeing. Um, it turns out this dog is amazing. Uh, the dog was just extremely scared in the kennel, but once we got him out, um, was amazing and not aggressive. Um, so Tim, again, worked with this dog and um, being the bleeding heart that I am, I ended up adopting her. So here she is. <laughs> this is JB, the vicious pit bull that um, Tim once again helped me save. So thank you, Tim. You're amazing. Um, there's nobody out there with your skills and your willingness to work with dogs that nobody else is willing to work with. So this dog right here would have been dead 100%. Uh, had zero chance of life, but thanks to Tim, um, she's alive and well and amazing. Thanks, Tim.